Okay, today we're going to see how we can install Kelly Linux on VM VirtualBox. As you can see, I got multiple operating systems installed in it, and these are different types. We got Linux, we got uh, Windows as well, we got Aruba OS DX that I was using for GNS. And uh, then we're going to see now how we can uh, do it for Kelly Linux as well. By the end of the video, you're going to find that it's super simple. Okay, let's go through the steps then. Okay, I'm here at Chrome. I'm going to use that uh, URL that I have for downloading the Kelly Linux. I'm going to paste it here and then, okay, I'm going to browse there and download the image. I'm going to put it down in the description so you don't have, have to face any problems. Uh, you can just take it from the description and uh, just paste it in your browser URL just, le just like I did and just go ahead with the installation. Now here you see a, uh, quite a few options. The one we are interested in is this one, Virtual Machines. So once you're here, just click on Virtual Machines and it'll take you down towards this option. These couple of options right here. And the one you're interested in is this one, um, VirtualBox. Now I'm using an X64 operating system and that's why I see X64 here. Now, if I'm not interested in X64, well, that doesn't matter if I'm not using an x64 i'm using an x32 well that matters in that case you got to change it to x32 and uh, just click on that uh, x32 um, sorry 32 bit if you're using an x32 software um, operating system and then you'll get uh, see relevant options for your operating system so um as soon as we're here you can click on this download button and download uh, the image uh, well this one is this file is going to be an OVA file it's not an ISO file and what's an OVA file to make it very simple an OVA file is basically um, what you'll see is you'll you, you'll uh, get the Kelly Linux already installed so you'll get an installed Kelly Linux so you don't have to go through the installation process right with an ISO file you'll have to install go through the installation process of that operating system whatever operating system it is for that matter Okay, I guess we're clear here. Just click on this download um, option and I've, I've actually already downloaded it, so I won't go through all that. So yeah, you can just pause the video for now, click on the download and we can uh, go to the next step right away. Okay, so once you're done downloading that image, just go ahead, uh, click on like open up VirtualBox again, click on this file option right here, right? So if I go ahead and click on that, we see the very next option, which says second option, which says import appliance. So I'm going to click on that because we're importing the OVA file and therefore we got to do that. Okay. Now I click on this folder. The first option is just fine, right? So I got to click on this folder that you see right here, right? So just click on this folder and, uh, okay. So just click on it and select the file, the OVA file, wherever it's downloaded, just go to that folder, select that and open that. Okay, in my case, it was in downloads and then uh, I had it inside a folder called Kali. I just made it myself. So just double click on it and you see this populates right here and it has the extension of .ova, right? So you're done, you're basically done. Just, just go ahead with the next prompt, whatever you get. So next, and then these are the options. If you want to change anything, just go ahead and change it, change any of these options, but I'm okay with whatever I see right here, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and say import. As soon as I click on import, it's going to, uh, it's going to ask me, Hey, you got to agree to these, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the agreement, the software license agreement, you got to click on agree. If you want to move forwards, if not, if you disagree, then, okay, don't, don't click on disagree. Basically, if you want to proceed with the installation, right? So just go ahead and agree. And as soon as you click on that, it's going to start importing and so on. So I'm not, just, I'm, I'm just going to cancel it because in my case, I've actually already installed it. So it's uh, basically once uh, this uh, step is done, you're going to see the Kelly uh, right here as we saw from the very beginning right here, right? So uh, we're done with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, power it on. Let's go ahead. Now we have successfully imported Kelly Linux inside the virtual box. Now what I'm going to do next is select this file. Like we, I can select either operating system. Just make sure you select this um, uh, operating system right here and then click on uh, this option start. 
Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on start. And it's going to take a couple of seconds. Maybe a few more. And some more. And uh, almost there. Okay. Good. I didn't want to pause the video because I just wanted to make sure that you see all this happening, right? Don't click on anything. You don't have to do anything. Just wait. Okay, you see this option right here. I can uh, just um, select it, just click on it, and that's it. Otherwise, if I click on E, uh, if I just uh, you know press the E button, it's going to take me to the Grub um, uh, menu where you can do other sorts of stuff, uh, different sorts of stuff, right? So I just clicked on it. And I'm just waiting for it to load now. And it should be finished soon. And it's going to ask me for the username and password. And by default, the username and password in Kali Linux is Kali. And the password is Kali. So the username is Kali and the password is Kali. Right? So if I do Kali and then Kali, I hit enter and we're in boom there you go okay now we're here and um, the operating system is completely loaded and if i want to go to terminal i can just click on this option uh okay i can i can show that to you i can you just got to click on this option right here for opening the terminal and uh, you got different spaces right here one two three and then four you got all these options which is so very cool in uh, Kelly, right? So um, I believe it's Control Shift and then the plus key to increase the size on this. And uh, okay, so there you go. You can just do uh, start doing your stuff on it. And um, by default, um, well, I'm gonna go through um, of the upcoming videos. Possibly, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about Python as well. Well, the good thing about um, Kelly is that you got Python pre-installed and. Uh, that's another cool thing and a lot of other tools available in there. Well, explore the other options and uh, I guess that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching the video and please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and you have a wonderful day ahead. Goodbye.